This is the uh, Argon One case for the Raspberry Pi. I was a Kickstarter backer for this. Um, I got it a while ago. I was really impressed with how quickly they shipped this thing out. Um, you never know how long things are going to take for Kickstarter, so I was really impressed. Um, as you can tell, I've opened it before. Uh, but just a really polished manual, very polished. Uh, this thing it just looks fantastic. It's very, uh, very easy to read instructions. Power button functions. So they actually have, which is really cool, a uh, script that you can install. And that way you actually have a software driven power button. For those who aren't familiar with Raspberry Pi, there is no physical on and off button on the Raspberry Pi. When you plug it in, it turns off. You can turn it off via software, but when it comes to a button, um, there isn't a option there. Okay, so you can see here, oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It looks like it got beat up a little bit during shipping. Oh, it's just sticky. It'll just pop back in. Okay, no harm, no foul. Uh, that's kind of funny. So the stickum that they used in the machined aluminum, which this feels so nice. So I mean, a little super glue in there might be all that it needs, but uh, it's supposed to just plop on. And if you ever need to get to it, pop it off. So that works really well. Um, looks like the adhesive they could have used would have been a little nicer, but look at this. I mean, this is slick and you, and you gotta love this. An integrated fan integrated fan and it even has a this right here is the uh, heatsink for the CPU so this is going to sit right on top of that CPU so the, it makes the whole case act as a, a heatsink and then if you really need to you know have some cooling then you also have the uh, active cooling with the fan so just a really impressive system you can actually see the other magnet right there um, or is that actually the, is that the same one? No. So that's the magnet that's attracting these magnets. So when you put this down, that's what's pulling the two together. So uh, very cool. There's some uh, down here you can see IR out, IR in, infrared, I would assume, if you wanted to do that with the, the Raspberry Pi, which is really neat. Um, so a pretty cool system here. Oh, my cat is deciding to say hello. Sonny, I'm in the middle of something, son. You need to go down. Okay, let's see what's concluded here. So here's the little board. And what this does, uh, if you ever have a Raspberry Pi case, you know, to save space, they put things on all different sides of it. This is the uh, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So it's, got, it's a, a little bit beefier than all three. They also uh, really beefed up the uh, thermals. So the whole thing acts as a heat sink more than just the little cap here, but this is even an addition there, really adds to the cooling. And this is the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Pretty cool, nice little Raspberry Pi logo there. Uh, but if you notice, there are the USBs on this side, the ethernet, there's the audio jack, HDMI, right? It's all kind of all over the place, but for a media center, you kind of want it to be clean, you want it to be all in one spot. So that's what this solves. This really makes it just a slick all-in-one device. Well, I all -in device but this actually adds on. It's like an extender. Really not well done. I mean, I am just so impressed with this. This looks cool. I mean, look at that. That looks like a artwork. Look at that. I am so impressed with this. Apparently too impressed. But what this does is this pops in right here to our HDMI and audio jack and then allows us to bridge this connection. So now all of our ports are coming out right here. This actually has a little cable, I believe. Um, and that's what you plug in the power. Because I did see power on here. So you can see there's power. 
wonder where, oh, the GPIO pins, that's right. So what this does is there's a, uh, this actually has, I forgot to look at that, uh, GPIO pins. So this is actually giving power to the fan. This is also giving the fan the connection it needs to be able to run off the thermometer that lets it know once it, the heating gets to a certain point. And this is also what's transferring the power from here. You're putting your standard you know, power supply that you have with the Raspberry Pi, putting that there, and then that's what sends it to the um, pins. If you look on a Raspberry Pi, there are multiple pins that supply power only. That would be the top one up here. I believe it's the top two. I sometimes I forget, but I believe it's the top two are both five volts. And then this one right there, the top left one is 3.3 volts. This one, I believe right here is, is a ground pin. And there's another, I don't remember exactly which one, but there's another 3.3 volt um, one in there. A lot of ground pins throughout, but a really neat little thing. So if I look back at the directions, what else we got in here? In our little goodie bag, anti-static bag. come out. Argon 1. In this case, I mean, was I mean, so far has been just really impressive and we haven't even put it together yet. But uh, so in here we have, it was only 30, I uh, know, $24 with like shipping included. Like, how did they do that? I'm, I'm so impressed with the price point that they were able to achieve. Uh, so we have some some of those, uh, what's it called? Coated tissues, so some stick them. We got some screws. One of these I'm, I'm assuming is gonna be the thermal pad that will act as a thermal paste, but we don't really, we don't know. Unless you're like emulating some pretty intense stuff. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm blank 24 seven. Okay, so let's see how this goes. So this is gonna sit, okay, so we do need to put the little sticker down. The silicon thermal pad. Interesting. So which one is the silicon thermal pad? I'm I'm guessing it's oh I think it's one of them's thicker than the other. Huh. Well, I mean I am just the precision and the professionalism of this is like the people who made this, wow, bravo. I'm I am swooning over how nice this looks. This could be one of those like, you know, this could be, oh, there we have, boom and boom. So this is too big though. There's no way that that's what that's for. Cause this is so thick and this is, this is rubbery. Okay, cause these on the other side, I do already have, okay, so I already put one there. I think that's what it's for. I think that's what's going on here. So this is obviously a Raspberry Pi that I pulled off of another project. Um, and I used to have a um, heat sink on here. And of course, now I have this copper plate, which is supposed to add, you know, an additional amount of cooling. But <laughs> this is, this stickum is working very well. Here we go. Let's pull that off. This makes sense now. So these two, one there, one there. So it'll have the full on um, thermal. I, I'm, that's all I can guess. Cause the other thing would be the SD card. Cause the SD card in this little piece here. Okay. Use a flat head Check the Raspberry Pi to the adults to the through the thermal pad. Doesn't look like I need to put it on the other side, but I'll remove it anyway just because I don't want to have too much on there. So I take this off. It's not very sticky. Might have, this might be why they give you two, because the side that I just put down was not sticky in the least. Okay, let's see. Oh, I get, I'm an idiot. This is thermal compound. It's, it's very squishy. 
That's what's going on here. This is thermal compound. Or I, that's what I'm assuming. <laughs> Who knows? I don't really know what I'm talking about. Okay. So I need to make sure I, I'm going to remove the SD card. Uh, you, you always want to be careful with the SD cards. This does have a nice little, um, doesn't it? <laughs> I keep saying things before I check. Um, let's double check here. In the front. Does it have a spot for that? Yes. So you can see right in the front there, it's got a spot for the SD card. You always want to be careful when you're putting um, SD card or Raspberry Pis in cases because a lot of times they are not designed to um, have the SD card in while you're inserting the, uh... one second, I can't talk and do two things at once. Okay. What you can end up doing is snapping your SD card while trying to um, install it in your, to your case, which is a real bummer when you've just, you know, worked hard on getting this nice case into place and everything, and to snap your SD card is never a fun thing, especially if you had put a lot of work onto a project or something, and then, you know, that would be a bummer. Look how nice this is. So it puts all of those ports on one side. So that's what it looks like underneath. Look at that shot, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and now I just need to put in some screws. It's nice and solid feeling. Like this, this feels right. Okay, so we're looking at the, these are the, use the shorter screws. And we're looking, we have one at the top left. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down so I can work on it. I have my trusty little screwdriver. I thought this might, yeah, it's gonna be perfect. I even feel like I needed to bust out my I fix it kit bit kit. A little excessive. Okay. We have another one right there next to it. These are all the smaller screws. And the last one of the tiny screws is actually into the Raspberry Pi. The bottom left one itself. Beautiful. Looking good. So now that extra little assembly board is now attached to the, um, the case itself. And then we have the bottom. The bottom is made of plastic. It comes with a nice little cover. And it doesn't look like I need to apply any of that thermal stuff. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. Um, I'll have to look and see if I can find a description of what, of what it is. But I'm guessing this is just an extra piece in case you mess up. Does it tell us in the beginning? I don't think so. Look at the instructions here. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about that. It just says, just, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Fan speed. Oh, my little friend here decided to tag along. I will put you on a different Raspberry Pi. Okay. So then this case is going to sit down. Make sure I have that correct. There's the SD card slot. And, I mean, look at that, perfect. Oh, there's, hello, that's my cat. Hello, Sunny. Please don't eat my micro SD card. All right, four screws is all it is. I'm gonna set it down, make it a little easier. So this would be a fantastic kit if you're thinking about doing a media center or even, um, a game system because of just how nice it looks. I mean, especially the media center. I mean, we're talking, this looks like Apple-esque in terms of design and the quality. Or if you just wanna make your Raspberry Pi 
you're going to use it as a desktop, as like a you know full-fledged desktop computer, and you have been thinking that the cases that were available aren't that great, or you don't like having it be out you know all bare, um, then you have this that just turns it into this really slick looking computer. Little feet, there's, I don't think I saw, did I drop any? I don't think it came with any feet. I'll have to check the, the bag, you never know. Sometimes you have little stowaways in your bags, but it doesn't look like it came with uh, little feeties. Sometimes they add those. With the, vibra with the vibrations of the fan, I have not obviously tested the fan yet, so I'm not sure how loud it's going to be, but um, it's pretty slick. I mean, look at that. And I think the coolest part of this whole thing is, you know, the Raspberry Pi, you want to have access to those GPIO pins. And that's what this magnetic board does is, oh, and they labeled them. Look at that. See, there's 3.3 volts, five volts there, ground. Another 3.3 volts is right here. That is just fantastic. I mean, look at that. GPIO 17, 27, 33, right? Look at that. That is just fantastic. And they even color code. If you look inside there, this GPIO header board is color coded. So you know that this one right here, yellow is 3.3, orange is uh, 5 volts, green are all the different GPIO pins that are available for um, coding, or excuse me, programming. And then you have, these are special, EEDAT. I've not used, I've just used the pins as GPIO pins, of lighting up LEDs, you know, doing stuff like that. Pretty much. So I'm not sure why those are special. I have to look, and then you have black for all the ground pins, but very slick. Pops open right there. Look at that. Nice little vent holes. And this is this is aluminum. This is solid. Uh, I am just blown away by the quality of this. And I believe, if you remember in the beginning, there was a spot for infrared. And I believe that this front panel here is semi-transparent, or that might be something that you can add to it. So if you wanted to use an infrared remote control, you have that option. Uh, but in the back, you've got your audio, you got your power. The button, which they do have um, a script that allows you to control this. So it's actually, it'll do different things based on if you press it once, if you hold it, or whatever it is that you want to do with it, which is really neat. But really takes the Raspberry Pi and makes it just a beautiful, an already beautiful machine, even more beautiful. But you can see here, installing your SD card, super easy. So if you want to switch it out for different things, if you have your gaming console, uh, all your ROMs on one, and then maybe you have your media center on the other, then that is just, you know, a power off, plug in, boom, you're off and running. Uh, I'm going to do a, a test drive of this in another video, but this is just the original, this is the um, unboxing and original build, so... Super impressed with the Argon One Raspberry Pi case from Kickstarter. Uh, really can't compliment the manufacturers enough. They did a fantastic job. So thanks for watching. Enjoy.